Number 10, Jackie Dean. Yes, thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Corrections and asks, what steps has the government taken to protect communities from high-risk offenders? The Honourable Anne Tolley. Uh, Mr Speaker, in August, GPS monitoring was introduced for high-risk high risk child sex offenders on extended supervision orders and on offenders for offenders on parole with special conditions relating to their whereabouts. There are currently 25 high-risk offenders being monitored by GPS and dependent on judicial outcomes, nearly 50 offenders could be monitored by GPS by the end of the year. This technology provides real-time monitoring of these high-risk offenders, allowing the department to know immediately if one strays into an exclusion zone such as a park, a playground or a school, so that quick action can be taken. The offenders are monitored 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And this technology is significantly improving the safety of the public and ensuring that offenders comply with the conditions of their sentence. Jackie Dean. Complementary to the Minister, how could GPS be used in the future to improve prisoner rehabilitation? The Honourable Anne Tolley. Well, Mr Speaker, from next month, Corrections plan to start trialling the use of GPS to monitor prisoners on the Release to Work programme. To reduce reoffending by 25%, we do need to have more prisoners engaged in that Release to Work programme, and GPS will allow Corrections to do this by providing a greater ability to monitor the prisoners whilst they're outside the prison. Question number 11, Darian Fenton. Thank you, Mr.